When shopping for yourself or your family, you more than likely have noticed how different your receipt looks, especially when comparing prices for the same items to how much they were four to five years ago. Jordan Rodriguez says more on how grocery stores are handling the inflation rates and how different the prices really are. Inflation has impacted each and every one of us, and the grocery store is where you can see it the most. You're, you're looking at such price increases on, on anything from a canned good up to eggs to milk and everything that, you know, people are having a hard time comprehending what, why the prices are going up so much. So with the store goods going up, surely they're making money. However, Green says that is not the case. He says they are paying more money than ever before. With the price of gas, freight has gone through the roof. As a business owner, you end up enduring some of it, but you can't absorb all of it. Um, you know, it has to be passed on to the end consumer, too. According to Green, their freight rate has gone up 50%. Produce is up 20 to 25, and eggs are anywhere between 20 and 40. And the coffee has been up to 70% higher than what it was before. It hurts the, the middle class way more than it hurts anybody else. And that middle and lower class, it, it hurts us. It hurts us hard. From 2019, bagels at Walmart have jumped from just under $2 to now well over $2. And the beloved snack of Oreos has risen nearly $2. However, milk remains around the same price. And if you want to treat yourself to some blue bunny ice cream, you have to pay up to 50 cents more than you did three years ago. With the inflation rate being this high, Green has a tip for you. Buy shelf-stable foods. Buy foods that are going to last you. If you can, I mean, you know, you, you still need your proteins, but you, you always need that, that fruit, that vegetable, and buy that shelf-stable stuff. Um, yeah, it, it might not taste as good as fresh, but it's probably going to be cheaper. And in the long run, you know, two months down the road, if you're scraping dollars by to, to feed yourself, that might, that might save you. According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, food at home prices have increased nearly 12% over the past year. For KX News, I'm Jordan Rodriguez. Green says we may see the prices of eggs go up more in the coming months. According to Ballotpedia, in 2018, the average price of a dozen eggs in our state was $1.58. Now it's about $3 a dozen. $46,000.